In this video, we're gonna see what happens if the rival teams in the NFL combine with each other. Now, once a team is used as a rival, it cannot be used again. So for instance, because I'm an Eagles fan, our biggest rival is the Dallas Cowboys. So that's who I used, which means the other two teams in the division, the Giants and the Commanders, are rivals by default, and they're gonna combine with one another. So yes, your team might not combine with their biggest rival, but they do combine with a rival in the division. We had to do it this way, so everyone got a rival, and we could make 16 teams. Some rivalries are stronger than others, but to make it as balanced as possible and to have eight rival teams in each conference, we had to use this method. If you don't like it, it's all good. You can click off the video. No need to stick around and complain. But for those of you guys that understand it's the only way we could have done it, then sit back, drink some water, and enjoy the video. Our first team is the Tampa Bay Panthers. Bryce Young leading the way. We chose the team based on who the higher quarterback was. So Bryce being from Carolina, that's the team we went with. He has an elite wide receiver duo now. Really good offensive line. An absolutely stacked front seven and a pretty solid secondary. They're an 87 overall. We also have the Atlanta Saints. Derek Carr leading the way for New Orleans. So that's the team we decide to go with. He has an elite tight end now in Kyle Pitts. Pretty solid offensive line. He adds London to his wide receiver core. Bijan and Patterson to his running back core. And their defense is five overalls better. They had three guys from ATL with a build and Terrell, Jesse Bates, and Calais Campbell. The NFC West is a division with a lot of good rivalries, but growing up and watching Sherman and Crabtree, Patrick Willis and company go up against the LOB, I had to go with the San Francisco Seahawks as our next rival team, Geno leading the way. With arguably the deepest roster in this entire experiment, Brandon Ayuk is their wide receiver for. They have Kenneth Walker behind McCaffrey. Now the O-line is low-key a weak spot. But the defense is definitely not. Very good starters at almost every single position. And they're tied for the second highest overall in the entire video. So for those of you paying attention, then you know by default that means we have the Los Angeles Cardinals as our next rival combined team with Kyler Murray leading away. Cam Akers, his new RB1. Cooper Cup, his new wide receiver one. Now they do have the lowest overall of the video at only an 80. And on defense, they only have two guys with abilities, but they have arguably the best defensive player of our generation in Aaron Donald. We'll see if him and Buddha, along with Cooper Cup, can put together a Cinderella story. You guys know I never ask you to do anything other than like the video. You know, I, I never ask for money. I never will ask for money. But this right here, this would help me so much if just 200 people could literally just click the link in the description or use the QR code on the screen to go ahead and download the free game royal match okay that's all i need you to do it'll help me out a lot you know every time someone uses my code i get a portion you know what i'm saying i just got all four of my wisdom teeth taken out and uh, it's pretty expensive so I, that's all i ask i will never ask you guys to spend money but if you could take two minutes to just click the link download it on the app store and i hey you might like it because i love the game everyone i know like close to me that has downloaded it loves the game they're already addicted it's a fun game try it out but yeah, just do it for me, please. If I've ever helped you in any way, if I ever made you laugh, got you through a tough day, uh, helped you in Madden, you know, just anything. Right now, we've already had 69 amazing people click the link and download the game. As great of a number as that is, <laughs> we still have to get the 200. So I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could go ahead and download it. It would mean the world to me. Our next rivalry had some crazy drama just last year when Aaron Rodgers told an entire franchise, I own you, Bruh. the Green Bay Bears, led by Justin Fields. Him and Aaron Jones is a nasty quarterback running back duo. He adds Christian Watson and Romeo Dubs along with an elite left tackle and David Bakhtiari to his offense. Now his defense is three overalls better. They had three guys with abilities, Kenny Clark, Jair, and Rashawn Gary. Very solid team with a lot of depth. And so you've probably figured out that our next rival combined team is the Detroit Vikings, led by Kirk Cousins, Montgomery and Gibbs at running back, Amon Ra as his new wide receiver too, Hawkinson back with his Lions brothers, O-line looking filthy, CJGJ, 
and Harrison the Hitman as their starting safeties. Offense is their strong suit, though. Seven overalls higher than their defense. They might have to outscore their opponents. And they might just have the firepower to do it. We are now looking at the Dallas Eagles. Jalen, of course, leading the way. Now they have Tony Pollard running behind the best offensive line in this experiment. Zach Martin slides in at right guard. C.D. Lamb slides in at wide receiver two. This team is the highest overall in the experiment at a 92 with the best offense in terms of overall and the best defense in terms of overall. Slay Gilmore and Travon who will play some free safety because Bradbury can slide into the slot. Parsons on one side, Reddick on the other. There's no way this team doesn't make the playoffs. The only question is how far they can go. And that leaves our final NFC rival combined team as the Washington Giants. Daniel Jones at QB1 with a new wide receiver one in Scary Terry. Curtis Samuel at wide receiver two. Saquon still at running back. Now their defense is slightly better than their offense. Three overalls higher because they add some studs on the defensive line and some solid players in the secondary. Our next team is arguably the biggest rivalry in the NFL. The Pittsburgh Ravens with Lamar Jackson at quarterback. Najee Harris at running back. Deontay Odell Pickens. Mandrews and Fryermuth might be the best tight end duo. O-line's okay, but their defense is four overalls better. TJ Watt and Roquan Smith, along with Hayward on the front seven. Minka and Marlon Humphrey, along with Marcus Williams and Pat Peterson. This team could definitely go all the way. Which means the next rivalry, the Cleveland Bengals with Joe Burr at QB1. He adds Amari Cooper to his already elite wide receiver core. Nick Chubb at running back with Mixon behind him. That might be the most talented quarterback running back wide receiver group in this entire video. O-line's not too shabby either. You have Njaku at tight end. They're tied for the second highest offense in the league. And their defense is not too shabby either. Miles Garrett joins Hendrickson and Reader on the D-line. You have Zadarius, Denzel Ward, arguably the most talented team in this experiment. This one is a rivalry because I just remember T.Y. Hilton, every time he played this team, he would go absolutely bonkers like he hated them. And Andre Johnson and Cortland Finnegan used to go at it almost every time they played against each other. So we have the Indianapolis Texans, led by C.J. Stroud. Jonathan Taylor is going to have a phenomenal offensive line to run behind, and they might have to rely on that in their defense. But they don't have too many high overalls, just an 84 overall, not the lowest, but they're definitely underdogs in the AFC. Now, they may have a higher overall than this next rivalry, but the coach of this team has already won a Super Bowl. So the Tennessee Jaguars have the slight advantage, even though they're one overall less. Trevor Lawrence with Derrick Henry as his new RB1, Hopkins as his new wide receiver one, a sneaky good offense with a pedestrian offensive line. That's definitely their weak spot. Defense, pretty solid. You have Simmons and Bayard added to this pretty solid Jaguars defense. I could see them with an upset or two. We have a few super chats from Kanon Gossett 6417 says, thanks for all the hard work you do. You're my go-to Madden Sim channel. You may have already done this, but try having two wheels. One for teams, one for positions, two random teams, three random positions to trade. You know I love wheel spin videos, man. Thank you for the idea. And then at All Sports 1560 says, can you please do a video of doing a Madden team of players from different countries and can you please use the Packers? And if there's not enough players, use any players you like. Another cool idea, man. I would love to do a video on international players, man. Thank you guys for the donations. We have the New England Jets led by Aaron Rodgers, Alvin Cook, Zeke, Reese, and Ramondre. Very deep running back group. Wilson, Juju, and Mecole at wide receiver. You have Gesicki. O-line very solid, but their defense is a little bit better. You combine Judon with Mosley and Bentley along with Quinn and Sauce, Peppers. So you combine that with a quarterback that's already won a Super Bowl and they have as good of a chance as anyone. So that means the other two teams in the division combine to form our next rivalry. The Miami Bills with Josh Allen at QB1 and probably the best wide receiver trio in this video. Tyreek Stephon fun and waddle now their running game is not that crazy neither is their offensive line but there's still a 91 offense and their defense is somehow even better you add ramsey to an already elite buffalo defense along with howard phillips and some really nice depth on the d-line and this has to be one of the favorites to make it out of the afc next up we have the las vegas broncos their history goes way back but now they have to be friends russell wilson has a new wide receiver one in Devonte adams jacobs at RB1. A 
and a solid defense. You add Sertain and Simmons from a really good secondary to Crosby and Chandler Jones from a really good front seven, and you get a really solid team. But our final team has the best quarterback in the league, and not only does he have his tight end healthy, but now he has Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, not to mention Eckler, one of the best pass catching backs in the NFL, an elite offensive line. They're tied for the highest overall offense in the NFL, and their defense is only four overalls less with four guys that have abilities. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Which one of these teams in both conferences are going to miss the playoffs and give me your Super Bowl pick? Go ahead. This is a perfect time to do it. You know, this is some downtime right here. We're going to simulate to the playoffs. Got plenty of time to do it. While you're down there, you might as well like the video. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. And also subscribe if you're new around here, man. Let's see which rivalry reigns supreme. The Cleveland Bengals end up with the one seed in the AFC, but the Pittsburgh Ravens had the same record. They were right behind them. Hold your horses. <laughs> the Indianapolis Texans end up with the third seed. The Miami Bills end up fourth. The Los Angeles Chiefs end up fifth. The New England Jets make the playoffs, and so do the Las Vegas Broncos, which means the Tennessee Jaguars are the only rivalry that did not make the playoffs from the AFC. Meanwhile, in the NFC, the Tampa Bay Panthers end up with the one seed. The Washington Giants end up second. The Dallas Eagles make the playoffs. The San Francisco Seahawks make it. The Green Bay Bears also make it. Same with the Atlanta Saints and the Los Angeles Cardinals. So the Detroit Vikings end up missing out on the playoffs. Only one game behind the Cardinals, but they were seven overalls higher. So there's really no excuse. Mahomes led the AFC in terms of passing yards. Rodgers, Burrow, Wilson, and Lawrence round out the top five. Burrow has the most passing touchdowns, only two interceptions to go along with 45 touchdowns. Just a nasty season. Meanwhile, Kyler Murray had the most passing yards in the NFC. Dale Jones had the most passing touchdowns with 35. Bryce Cousins, Carr, and Kyler round out the top five. Meanwhile, Saquon had the most rushing yards in the NFC. McCaffrey was second on the Seahawks. Booby ends up third. Most rushing touchdowns also goes to Saquon. 17 rushing touchdowns for Jalen Hurts. He might have to win MVP, man. That's just nuts. Jonathan Taylor, 33 rushing touchdowns. Nick Chubb with 30. They both break the record. And Taylor has over 2,100 yards. Yeah, he might have to win MVP, man. That's an insane season. Keenan Allen, 21 receiving touchdowns. Too shy of tying the record. Devontae had the second most yards. Duvernay was third. Higgins had the second most receiving touchdowns. Mandrews in the top five with Devontae Parker. Meanwhile, Cooper Cup still at the top when it comes to receiving touchdowns. Big reason why the Cardinals made the playoffs. Evans and Curtis Samuel in the top three. And of course, Cup had the most receiving yards, but Jefferson looks like he had the most receptions. On defense, Chase Young had 18 sacks to lead the entire NFC. Bosa, Burns, Davenport, Thibodeau, and Hutchinson in the top five. Six INTs for Terrell and Lattimore on the same defense. Gonna be very tough to move the ball against them. Even Werner and Demario, four of the top six people with INTs were on the Atlanta Saints in the AFC. Sertain had nine to lead everyone. Most sacks went to TJ Watt. Garrett was second, tied with Von Miller. But Lamar Jackson wins MVP. Mahomes ends up second. Burrow hurts and then Jonathan Taylor in fifth. Lamar had 42 touchdowns, only five picks. He added 10 more on the ground and almost a thousand yards rushing. So yeah, that, that's a pretty nasty season. Here's a look at all the rivalries except for two. The Cleveland Bengals get the one seed in the AFC and the Tampa Bay Panthers get the one seed in the NFC. And their first matchup is going to be the Dallas Eagles because they took care of business against the Green Bay Bears. The Pittsburgh Ravens go out in round one. They lose a thriller to KC and the Chargers. Seattle and San Fran take care of business against that stacked secondary of the Atlanta Saints. Rodgers helps the New England Jets move on. They beat the Miami Bills. The Washington Giants absolutely destroy the Los Angeles Cardinals, but still, credit to them for even getting to the playoffs. And would you look at the Indianapolis Texans, the third lowest overall in the entire video, and they take care of the Las Vegas Broncos. So we have 16 teams left, eight different rivalries, battling for the final four spots. I mean, straight to the end, if it's close, we hop in. How many of you guys' rivalry from both conferences are still alive? Let me know. No cheating, okay? No editing. We can all see it, man. This is a very close one.
one. Will Rodgers be able to get back to the Super Bowl? His team is up. Multiple possessions. The Bengals aren't going away. And he gets the job done. You combine Belichick with Rodgers. And even an offense as talented as the Cleveland Bengals still cannot score enough to move on. Still a great run from them regardless. To say the Indianapolis Texans are huge underdogs would be an understatement, okay? They're going up against the Los Angeles Chiefs, led by Mahomes and that stacked wide receiver core along with Kelsey. And somehow, they're tied up in the fourth quarter. No matter what happens, they gotta be proud of this season. D'Amico Ryans was one possession away from sending his team to the conference championship. I bet none of you had them going this far. Credit to CJ Stroud and company for putting up a good fight against such a stacked team. But KC in Los Angeles just had too much firepower. You know when Kadarius Tony has zero drops and catches six balls, you're just not going to beat them. This matchup is much closer in terms of overall. The Tampa Bay Panthers started at an 87. Now they're going up against the team with the highest overall in the Dallas Eagles. But right now, once again, very close game is tied up. Matter of fact, the Panthers and the Buccaneers take the lead. 21 seconds left. Second and goal. Jalen Hurts scrambles for the touchdown. The Dallas Eagles take the lead. Three timeouts left for Tampa Bay and Carolina, but there's only seven seconds. Bryce Young needs a miracle. He almost gets it right there. Instead, it's incomplete. Another valiant effort, but only one rivalry can move on. Jalen with the clutch run at the end of the game. CD with a touchdown earlier in the game. Kind of a defensive battle, and we might get more of the same in our final divisional round matchup. The San Francisco Seahawks get off to the early lead. The Washington Giants need to come to life. This is easily the biggest blowout of the divisional round. A goose egg put up by New York and Washington. Now, I don't know if they had no business being in this round of the tournament. I mean, look at this. 10 yards a carry for McCaffrey. Now, I know Seattle and San Fran have just disgusting defenses. So if they keep playing like this, I don't know if anyone's going to be able to beat them. We are now in the conference championship game. Eight teams left. Four rivalries remain. We have Rodgers versus Mahomes. KC in Los Angeles taking on New England and New York. We have another thriller. One possession game in the fourth quarter tied up. Third and eight. Clock is ticking. The Los Angeles Chiefs are in field goal range. Eckler shakes off a tackle. Gets them a little bit closer. Herbert with the hold. And Kansas City and Los Angeles are heading to the Super Bowl. They are one game away from being able to claim they have the best rivalry in terms of talent in the entire NFL. New England and New York went farther than I expected. I'm not going to lie. I thought the Ravens and Steelers would be in the AFC Championship game, so they definitely surprised me. Very good season from them. Now, one could argue these are the four most consistent above average teams in the NFC, dating all the way back to like the LOB era, maybe before that when the Niners were really good. I, I mean, they've just been in deep playoff run after deep playoff run. And right now we have another one. 16 apiece. Both teams have all three timeouts. The Dallas Eagles have the football second and 10. Less than two minutes left in the game. Hurts finds his tight end. Brings up a third down and short. CD on one side. AJ on the other. Four man rush. Hurts going down. And now Gino has a chance to send his team to the Super Bowl with a game winning drive. He's going to start off with a dot. Third down and seven, however. Let's see if they can keep the chains moving. First down. George Kittle moves the chains. Now they just need to get a little bit closer and they can kick the game when a field goal McCaffrey getting tackled for a loss what a tackle by Stephon Gilmore that's a guy that knows what it takes to win a Super Bowl now they dodge a bullet right there Gino had DK wide open instead it's third and 11 this time he finds his target in the same exact situation from the other championship game here's Jason Myers to kick the game winner and it's good yet another thriller in this video but only one rivalry can move on. Hertz did not have the best game. Both defenses did a great job. Very low scoring game. Good season from Dallas and Philly. But San Fran and Seattle can lay claim to the best rivalry in terms of talent in the NFC. So it all comes down to this. Los Angeles and Kansas City taking on San Fran and Seattle in the Super Bowl. Gonna watch one drive from each offense. Can San Fran and Seattle make this a low scoring slugfest? First play incomplete. They're already hitting them hard making receivers drop the football tony at the top of the screen he's gonna actually block for mike williams who's going nowhere if this is any sign of things to come we might have another very low scoring affair on our hands third and
and nine. Mahomes over the middle and complete. Fred Warner with a nasty drive to start. Don't get it twisted, though. The Chargers and the Chiefs have some heavy hitters on their defense as well. Chris Jones hitting Geno on the first play. Yeah, he's not holding out on this one. They are full strength. Look at the block shed. McCaffrey getting tackled for a loss by Joey Bosa. We have the Bosa brothers going up against each other. You got everything you could ask for. Third down and 13 for Seattle and San Fran. Geno throws a pick on his first possession. McDuffie gives his team great field position. Yeah, I'll be shocked if both teams score over like 25. I, I would be absolutely flabbergasted. We're heading into halftime with the Chiefs and the Chargers up, but not by too much. 14 to 10 heading into the fourth quarter. The Chargers and the Chiefs extend their lead, but Geno finds Kittle for a touchdown. And it all comes down to this. Warner's in the zone. Chiefs and Chargers across midfield need to get a little closer to be in field goal range. And they're gonna attempt it. You can't ice Harrison Bucker. The kick is up and it's no good. Wide left. Or in a miracle right here. We have some overtime. Geno, does he have the arm strength to get it to the end zone? Yes, there's a flag and it's almost caught by the Seahawks and 49ers pass interference on the defense. Oh my goodness. So now they can kick the field goal and that's how this season's gonna end. Jason Myers with another game winner and the Niners and Seahawks can lay claim to the best rivalry in the NFL. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do, man. Gino did not have the best game. Mahomes outplayed him, but they made plays when it mattered most. The Niners, a team that goes deep almost every year. Seattle was this close to being a dynasty if they just ran the football. They outlast arguably the best quarterback of all time in terms of talent. And a team in the Chargers who have a nasty roster every single year. Had a lot of fun doing this video. If you enjoyed it and you're new around here, subscribe. Plenty more like this to come.